Well, good morning, friends. It's a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. It's fall, and uh, we have a John Deere to work on. It's going to be an easy job. The front wheel bushings are beginning to wear out, and I'll show you how to replace them. And a lot of lawnmower models have this setup, so uh, this procedure covers many makes and models. Old Bo is ready to repair it. So I'll show you all what's going on here. If you watch the front wheels, can you tell they're wiggling? If you watch closely and listen, you can hear it. Yeah, see how floppy that uh, wheel is on the axle? This side isn't any better. Let's jack this baby up. Yep, look at that. Didn't even damage it. Clean it up so I can see what we're dealing with here. One of those clips. I'll show you how I take these off. That's how I do it. Don't lose this washer. Slide the wheel off. So as you can see, that's one of the bushings right there. And you have one right there as well. Uh, these ones aren't as worn out as I've seen some. Here's what they look like when they come out. The common part number is 9040H. So here's the best way to take them out. Uh, you just have to have a long bar and a mallet. And you actually reach in to the other one until you fill the lip of the other one in there. Nope. I think I might have to get my other hammer. So here's my favorite hammer. It should get the job done. Hey, yeah. Yep. So that's the old bearing or bushing. If you look real close, you can see that it's oblong. So we'll put the new one in there. But first, we'll take out this one now. It's a lot easier to get to since this one is, has been removed. Yep. I love this hammer. There we go. Bushing number two. Guess what? It's just as easy to put the new ones in. Just put them in place. So just make sure if your wheels have the uh, grease valve here that the flat spot on the bushing goes up against that that valve. I'll use my rubber mallet for this. You, you can just hear it that they're in place all the way seated down. So we're ready to go back on. It's a good idea to put a little bit of grease in there. Putting these clips back on can be kind of a pain in the butt. Um, here's how I do it. One of the ways I do it. Just put a screwdriver right on top barely on top. Give it one good whack. Yep, there we go. We're on. And this has gotten all stiff again, so I'm going to heat it up. Heat that sucker up. Yeah, what a difference with heating this thing up. 
pliable already. We should be able to fit this on now. It's nice and squishy. Yep. I tell you, that's the trick. Is to heat these suckers up a little bit and they come off much easier. One side done. Got a little party going on over here. And in here we have a new mother, Cheap, and her little babies. Yep, we've got some baby chicks here at Jeff's Little Engine Service. Cute little suckers. You have to heat up this cap because um, it's a little too cold out here and this cap is stiff and brittle, too hard to get off. So. Heating it up really helps take it off and put it back on when you're ready to do that. Looks like there's also a washer um, on the inside here. So if that comes off, make sure to replace it. That one didn't come off on the other side. Yeah. Put the new ones in place. It really doesn't take that long to heat this thing back up again sure makes a difference when putting it back on or taking it off. That is a lot less sloppy on there. Barely wiggles now. This job is done.